please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa, Ejo, e subscribe, subscribe, eh, hete. Face TV. Uswobi. Yes, good day everybody that is watching us all over the world. This is Face TV Africa. I don't want us to talk much today. And something came up and something happened, you know, all this 2023 general election, the especially presidential election, is been causing a lot of controversy in Nigeria. And I want everybody to try to calm down. We can't continue like this. What Fire did on Arise Television today, to me, is something else. This is a statement that respected in Ekiti, in Ekiti State. And it at least will fight he was trying to express himself, trying to ask questions. I accepted that you might believe, uh, Mr. Farage, you might believe that maybe Rufai was asked or something. But before before all these things, I want us to watch this video, how Ayofayoshi responded. And I think it's attack. But let's, let's see how Ayofayoshi responded to um, um, Rufai Osini on our television today. Uh, two things. Uh, I'm good to see you again, Mr. Peter Fayashi, Oshokomola himself, Peter the Rock. Uh, all you have said... Thank you very much. All you have said is a justification of continued illegality in our country. And a lot of people are taken aback because also you yourself have been secretly recorded by an army captain when you were hatching out election fraud plans yourself in 2014. And we all remember that experience. So is it that we should continue in that now? And i also like to ask you this honestly. If another person apart from Bola Ahmed Tinubu you supported won this election, would you come on air and say all of these things that you are saying that people should move on without justice? You try to just rationalize what happened in Lagos. Yes, it happened in other parts of the country. But the killings, the hurts, the laceration of people's body and the likes, you know, that happened in parts of the country, but most importantly, what happened in Lagos. So should we justify this now because it favors people that you were in support of? Can I just correct you there? I take exception to your claim that I was secretly recorded, and I take exception that nobody has proven that. Yes, I can be recorded. But nobody will ever say to you that I said they should go and do it, go and rig an election. And I want to say to you, I've avoided touching on this area. When you are talking about Nigeria, let us start with the press. And let us start with your person. You recall the incident on the bus lane and your attack on the police. That shows that you, as a, as a journalist, a public analyst, Somebody who is supposed to live above board is not equally living above board. And he that must come to equity must have clean hands. I read a lot and I listen to your comments. I feel, like I said, we need to sit back and correct a lot of things. But you give me a right Let of me rebuttal. Go to your question again. You give me a right of rebuttal on the bustling incident because excuse I put it to you, sir. You uh, don't know the full story uh, uh, of what excuse happened. Excuse me. If, if, if you give me a right you, of rebuttal you, and go, go ahead. That, if you go that lane, we will not we will not make we will not make a sense of this program. I was invited by your station. If you didn't touch something that impugns on my personality, I will not give you an answer to that. So if you're asking question. I told Ruben about it yesterday, and I specifically complained about you and your attack on the people you don't believe in as a politician. No, I have a right to do my job. You I can't, can compare, you you can't complain about me side. to my colleague. Excuse no, me. That's not, I, that's I am right. equally telling you I know, right. where you I know where you are. That's not right of you as well. <laughs> that is technically not right of you as well. And if you want to make a sense out of this program, let us leave personal attacks, because you are good at that. And I'm equally good if you want, if you want it, I'll serve it as well as that. <laughs> so this program is, is, is meant to talk about issues of Nigeria and not issues of a person. We know where you are, we know where you belong, we know the parties you are supporting, but let's leave that out of the issue. As you can see, I don't think we, we, should, uh, we need to accept all this. Rufai is doing his job as a journalist because he had a right to ask a question. But Farage thought maybe he's attacking it personally. But I believe that Ayo Farage publicly supported Bola Ahmed Tinubu uh, for this admission. But I want us to know that you are in another party as PDP. 
And even if you want to support somebody in another party, you have to drop your resignation letter. You have to resign from that party officially before you can say, yes, I want to support another person from another party. But if this man is telling you what you did in your own time, I don't think that is a crime. Accepted that what Rufai Oseni did also wrong. Because to me, we have to be very careful in attacking someone personally. This is a general conversation. But when you are saying that a rigged election, he did this, he did that, without investigation, without a pure evidence that you have, or maybe in the court of law, have admitted that Ayofayo is, is this, is that. You are not supposed to say such a thing on national television. But what is really wrong is I don't like the way uh, Ayofayo responded on this issue at all. You are a statesman, you are either statesman, uh, you suppose to respond to this issue you know, in a mature way, so that at least the people behind you, like we, like everybody watching you, can at least understand the kind of person you are. You know, we should not we should not think that maybe somebody is asking you the question that you don't like, maybe that person is is, is your enemy or something else. No. Rufai Hussein is not your enemy. He's just trying to at least ask you the proper question. But you might see that question as maybe is wrong or is not supposed to ask you such a question. But to me, I don't know what is wrong there. Let's move to 2023 general election. Let me tell you one thing. And let us be sincere to ourselves. 2023 general election, to me, this is my own personal opinion, to me, free and fair. Not totally free and fair, but at least I can give it like about, let's say, 60% or 70%. There is no election, even in America, can be perfect totally. You can never. But if we can see election that can remove equipment governor, that can remove outgoing governor, not even to get a Senate seat, because before it's, it's normal for governor to just you know finish his tenure the eight years and just move straight to senate but that doesn't happen here most of governor couldn't get that seven seats the tickets let us be sincere to ourselves this might not favor majority but then let me deceive you at least we can see the success we might not see the everything, okay, this is what we are looking for. But at least we are making, we are, we are, we are, we are making progress. It's a process. We youth can't get there in a day. What we just need to go and prepare, because we know that the system of this country is not okay. We just need you know, more time to re-strategize. Peter will be has exposed so many people that the power is is with us it's when with nigerians it's with the people so we can we can remove anybody we want to remove even in lagos we see what happened in lagos even in presidential and the governorship election we see what governor Sawulu was doing moving everywhere running rasta keta moving everywhere just to get this at uh, the second time so we all knew now that we have power. The only thing is, we should not be discouraged. Let us start this movement. The momentum, everything is fantastic. So, for us, I want us to believe one thing. Don't let us, you know, you know, spoil this democracy or damage this democracy because we did not win now. We still have a lot of year ahead of us. We can still do so many things. We can still achieve so many things. If a bike man can be can unseat somebody that's been in the House of Representatives for almost you know for almost 22 years, someone that's been serving Abba, and you say that one is not free and fair, we should not believe that everything should be free and fair totally. Even in America, anytime they finish election, they go to court. So it's normal. It's normal. 
I will not say more than this. My name is Leku Tiriyemi. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa. Thank you. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa. Hey, yo, hey, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, hey. Face TV. Oh,